If you can hear this, we're safe up here. And I think the demons... The demons? Oh, the tremors. I was about to say, whoa, there's demons in this game? <laughs> It's Jessica and welcome to Where the Heart Leaves. I want to give a huge thank you to Armature Studios for sponsoring this video and providing me with a game key to play this game for you guys early. This is a story driven game with choice based elements and you guys know that I love games like that. I'm gonna read a quick description of this game so you guys can get a feel of what it's about. On the kind of stormy night that can change a person's destiny, an enormous sinkhole opens up in the middle of Whit Anderson's farm. Braving the rumbling thunder and driving rain, Casey, their curious golden retriever, ventures too close to the gaping maw and tumbles in. Desperate to save her, Wit descends into the darkness and emerges in a realm beyond his imagination. In the strange world, constantly shifting like these stops and starts of a dream, Wit bears witness to the story of his life and gains powers to change it. This game is currently out on the PS4 and PS5, so if you guys want to pick it up, I'll leave a link in the description where you can find more information about that. You guys already know, story-driven game, choice-based game, there's a freaking dog in this. I'ma like this and I know you guys are gonna like it too. I'm already getting like, very good vibes from this just because of the atmosphere already and uh, the art style. Also, there's a thunderstorm going on. Hi, ironic, because it's raining outside as I'm recording this video. <laughs> Cows! And I don't know what that is above the car. What is that? So this is our farm. Very nice. Lots of flowers. Liking that. I really like the music, too. Even though there's a storm going on, it sounds very calming. Oh. Oh, that is so close to his house. So that must be the sinkhole then. <gasps> no, doggo! Stay, girl! Casey, come back! Oh, she's running. Oh, he has a whole family, too. I thought it was just one guy. Uh, mom? Oh, no! Casey! Wait, uh, wait hurry! Oh, I don't like the dog crying! Weird dream. What was that sound? Okay, this is us. We're playing as Wit. Can I move him? What's going on? Why is everybody freaking- Oh no. Oh, this is so scary. I've heard so many stories of people like, you know, waking up one day and like the ground next to their house just freaking falls into the earth. Sinkholes happen sometimes and that, th that's really scary. What the hell is that? Oh, wait. <gasps> What about the cows? Did they go down? Casey! Oh, the doggy! Uh oh. Oh no. Step away from the edge! Where's the dog? Can I go down here? Where? Where? Where is she? the camera and everything too. <gasps> go, go! Yeah, I can zoom in. Oh, she's so scared. We gotta help her. How the hell did she get down there? That dog. Casey is family. I've never abandoned the pets. Are you kidding me? Casey's our girl. We can't just let her, we can't let her down. Okay, the winch is still attached to the tree and the bathtub is here. I think I know what to do, but it'll be dangerous. Ooh, should I do it by myself? Let's talk to the wife -o. Um, we're all in this together. We're all in the- Okay, I gotta, I gotta make sure they're on board. So this is our first choice, asking the wife, which I think is appropriate. Should talk to your spouse. The tree knocked out the telephone pole. What are we gonna do? Renee, I have a plan. I think you're not gonna like it. 
not like it or hate it. If we can swing that winch over to the bathtub, we'll be able to push it over to the side and... And write it down? Yeah, you're right. I hate that plan. Honey, we can do this together, like always. Whitney, please, you could... You could... I know, but if we don't do something, Casey's lost and we know it. I don't see any other way, but it's your call. I... Okay, okay, I'm in. I need a second to think. Can you check the kids? Yes, of course. Oh, the doggo! You know... This may be trickier than I thought. So... We gotta, like, attach it to the bathtub, so how am I supposed to do this? I think that's to, like, look at the dog, right? Okay, let's go over here. See what we can do. Looks solid, but it might be slippery as hell. Renee, you ready? Let's get this winch over. Okay, so how do I do this? Can I just walk? Oh god. I could never do this. Okay, we're doing great. We get encouragement from the wife. That's good. I love this. Oh, I should have talked to the kids first. You know what? It's okay. Dad's fine. Don't worry about me. Okay, okay, okay. Made it. Okay, honey, here we go. Release engine. Okay, okay, we got it. Better throw this hard. Toss winch. Oh gosh. Can I go back? I don't want I don't want to stay here. Oh my god. Okay, we made it. Let me talk to the kids. <laughs> I didn't realize I could talk to them. Is Casey going to die, Daddy? Shut up! Don't even talk like that! Dad, you can save her, right? Can you, Dad? Be- Oh, Jesus Christ. They're kids, though! Everything's gonna be alright, I promise. Mom and I have a plan and we're going to bring Casey home. You listen to her and stay back right here, okay? Right here, Dad. Be careful down there, Dad. I will, don't worry. It's bad to lie to your kids, but I feel like in this situation, let's just say, yeah, I'm gonna go save the dog. Okay. Let's give this a try. Fingers crossed. Push the tub. This is a big bathtub. Okay, we got- we got it moving. Be careful. And make it quick. I don't like the looks of the storm. Uh, let's reassure her. Reassure her. Trust me, I've got this. You saying that for my benefit or yours? Both. Definitely both. I'll be right back. I'm holding on to that. I was gonna say, why can't they call for help? But it looks like they're really out in the country. Obviously, they have a farm. So it would be a while before somebody could help them, right? Okay, let's make it over to the bathtub. Okay, oh, oh gosh. I'll get her. Get the doggo. Okay. Renee, I... It's okay, honey, I know. Hurry back. Okay, so I can move it? Oh, I can move it. Poor girl, she must be terrified. How do we get her over here? She'll have to jump. It's okay, girl. We're not taking a bath or anything. Come on, you can make it. Uh, talk to Casey? Okay. Oh, I have to hold it. Come here, girl. I've got you. Woo! <gasps> Woo! Jesus! That was close. We're good! We're fine. It's okay. We're fine. Are you okay? Yeah, just a little shaking. Wait, you've got to get her fast. Tell the kids to go back in the house. Maybe they get struck by lightning. Son of a... We need to decide what to do quickly. What do you mean? Find another way? Keep trying? No, we gotta find another way. This is too dangerous. No way I've got... Uh, you gotta get out of here. No, I'm not abandoning the dog. No, no, no. We're not abandoning the dog. Because I feel like if I get out, maybe it's a bad idea. <gasps> Yay! We got the dog! Oh. Uh oh. Is it dropping? Wait, the winch slipped! Dad! Uh, can you make it back up? Dad, are you okay? Is Casey okay? 
I see what you mean about here, uh, hating this plan, Renee. You might have a point. Two things. One, you're not funny. Two, I have backup plan. You can thank me later. Uh, okay, okay. The tub is too heavy. I don't think I can risk pulling it up. Just hold on. What is she doing? Uh, it's all right, Casey. Wait! I'm going to lower an apple basket. Put Casey in it and we'll pull her up. Oh. Hurry, please! Can she fit in there? How big are apple baskets? Come here, girl. Uh, let's calm her down. Doggo's probably really scared. Oh. Can she fit in that? <laughs> that's a good girl. You're doing fine, Casey. Good girl. Yes, that's you! You see that basket? I'm gonna put you in and you'll go up, okay? Easy peasy. I'll be right behind you. Oh my god. Okay, here we go, doggo. Squeeze Casey into the basket to relieve weight from the tub. Didn't, didn't they say she was a golden retriever? They're big. Big dogs. She's in! Renee, Renee pull her up! Oh! <laughs> you got it, guys. Keep going. It's okay, Case. Just look at Mama. What do I do? Yep, she's right there. My turn, I hope. Let me go back up. Okay, here we go. Get me out of here. Kind of creepy down there. Oh! Wait! This is not good at all. Oh, I'm trapped down here, aren't I? Uh oh. The branch jam and the pulley. Oh god, the tree is cracking! Oh, we're dead. What? Where the heart leads. That's the opening. <laughs> Oh my god, we saved the dog at least though, right? That's the important thing. Save the pets. Oh god, oh, oh. How far is this drop? This is kind of creepy. He did say at the beginning of this game, what kind of dream was that? So I, I do wonder, because like they said in the description of this game, he falls into the hole and enters a new world and we can start changing choices. So I do wonder if he's still dreaming at this very moment. Or did he actually die from saving the family and the dog from the sinkhole? And then this is kind of like his reflection of his life. You know what I mean? Time to theorize. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Jesus Christ. Oh, man, my back. Uh, what do I do? Oh, my God. It held. I'm alive. Maybe I can still pull myself out. That far of a drop? I don't think so, dude. Also, he wouldn't think this is kind of weird. There's a whole forest in here. You know what I mean? Exit. Okay, let me get out of here. Oh gosh. Is it a good- Oh! Well, there goes my exit. Right, well, it can't get any worse, I guess. I really am on my own, though. Lifeline was the damn bathtub on a winch. Ugh, okay. Why is there barking? Did we not save the dog? We need to focus. Look around for another way out of here. Doggo? What the hell is this game doing down here anyways? I don't care. I'm just lucky to be alive. Are we, though? We could be dead. Renee! Kids! Renee, kids! You can hear Casey barking at least. She's safe. This is futile though. Too much echo or I've fallen too far. What's this thing? A note? On a stationery? Hey, this is a note from Renee. 
Can you hear us? I'm trying to keep things together up here, but the kids are beside themselves, and we're all worried about you. If you can hear this, we're safe up here, and I think the demons... The demons? Oh, the tremors! I was about to say, whoa, there's demons in this game? <laughs> Sorry, the tremors have stopped. Casey's okay, I mean, man should pull her up, but she's been barking non-stop. We're doing everything we can to reach you. Please hang on and come back to us, we love you. See what I mean? I have a feeling he might be dead. The way that this is structured, it's written. Does she have time to draw all these, like, flowers on the stationery? Like, what's going on? I'm trying to keep things together. Hmm, thank God they're safe. Casey too, that's my girl. I already tried yelling and to no avail. I have to get back to them some way. Okay, let's see. So, we can hear barking. That's definitely our doggo. Wow! I can't make that jump. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Oh, I can't go through here. There's a small opening here. I think I can fit. Uh, go in. Screw it. Nope. Other option. I hope this is the e an exit. We can't jump the other side, so... It's our only way. Ugh. It's a good thing that I'm not claustrophobic. This is a bit better. Maybe I can find my way back up? Maybe? Hopefully? Lots of pipes? Damn it! Except being lost wasn't bad enough. I have to worry about a cave in too? Photo of us. What's that? Oh, we can- Oh! Collectibles. We took this picture around, I want to say, a year ago. Good day with Renee and the kids. Casey was chasing squirrels while we played. We don't have a lot, but we had our time together. Summer 86, August before the school starts. Our dog, Casey. Casey was just a pup when we got her. I think she was six weeks old. She was being fostered by a family in the next county over. Her litter was something like 12 dogs, but she was the only one they had left. There was another couple that arrived right behind us and I think they wanted to adopt, but little Kate and I fell in love with Case on sight. And that was it. We took her home, gave her a bath, and she was part of the family. That dog never knew a bad day. She was always happy, always upbeat. And if we ever weren't, well, no one could cheer us up like she could. Aw, that's usually what dogs do, right? They're, I mean, animals in general. That's really sweet. That looks like a whole house. I'm not sure though. What the heck is this? Uh oh. Wait, just run! Why are you looking? Not again! If I'm not gonna be careful, I'm gonna get buried down here. Exactly! Why are you standing there? You gotta move. Uh, no. Ooh, this is kinda pretty. I like this. Just ends. Nowhere to go. I'm going to die here, aren't I? Alone in this cave. Not a hero. Just a dumbass. At least it's pretty here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> All these flowers keep me company. They remind me of dad. I heard that flowers are considered um, a symbolism for family. So I do think it's interesting that he's thinking of his dad. Ooh. Dad spends so much time in his greenhouse crossbreeding flowers. Let's go check this out. Mom always used to say that this was dad's refugee in a hideaway. Is this dad? Oh, we're a kid! I just realized! And that we had to put a bag of flowers to make sure that no pollen gets here. Very careful, just like this. You pay attention, kiddo? Bag, flower, sure. Why do we bag the flowers? Seggy? What? Oh, uh, the bag? Uh... Wait, glad you're here. I thought I had company, but all I got was your brother's short attention span. It's not my fault you picked the most boring hobby ever. Watch that sass, boy. What did I tell you about that? Hey, wait! Let's go to the creek! Mom said that the levels are pretty high. I bet we could drop all the way down to the Renee's house. Wait, it'd be a real help if you help me finish up with these crossbreeds. Come on, flowers are boring! Oh, we have to pick. Stay with dad? I mean, okay. This is kind of sad, but yeah, it's nice to like make memories with both your parents and your siblings if you have them. 
But for the sake of this video, I kind of want to go with a brother because I'm kind of curious as to what will happen if we go. Yeah, let's go to the creek. Brace ya, last one, there's one egg! Wait, son. Dad, I'm gonna lose the race, I gotta go! You don't always have to do what your brother wants, you know. He's probably gonna get you into trouble. We're just going to have a little fun, Dad. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, Dad! Wait, sometimes things like that seem the most fun are the things that hurt you the most. That doesn't make any sense. Wait, the slow poke! Wait, the slow poke! I'm coming, wait up! Dad was always that way, trying to parent us by dropping these nuggets of called wisdom. My dad does that randomly. Some I could just be sitting there not saying anything, and then he'll just give me a speech about wisdom or like some advice. I don't know. <laughs> Dads are just like that. Not I love you or good job, son. Just these dumb sayings that sound like they came out of a, a Alamac. I don't do that to my kids. I support them, make them feel loved and cared for. It helps keep th keeps the family together. Ooh, I wonder if he has some trauma with, with his dad not giving him enough love or attention. I'm not saying his dad didn't love him, but maybe it's not the right kind of way to show affection for himself. Wait, obviously needed more than what the father was putting out there. Okay guys, that is a quick little preview of Where the Heart Leads. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, I wanna give a huge, huge thank you to Armature Studios for sponsoring this video and also providing me a game key to play this for you guys. This game is currently out on the PS4 and PS5, so if you guys wanna pick it up, I'll leave a link in the description where you can find more information about that. But I actually think this game is really interesting. The storyline is already evolving into something different once he went down into the sinkhole. I do wonder if Wit is gonna find Casey again like the dog, cause I keep hearing it bark, but I wonder if she will end up with him down there. Cause clearly he's going through all his memories of life, which is why I have a theory that maybe Whitney is dead and he's kind of like reflecting on his life so far, or maybe he's having a near-death experience and uh, he'll wake up and realize this is all a dream. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, let me know in the comments what you think, and like I said, if you want to learn more about where the heart leads, there's a link in the description. Thank you to Arbiture Studios for sponsoring this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!